I apologize about the lighting. This is the best I've gotten given my situation here. So let's just jump right into it. The topic of my debate was whether Israel should or should not continue its conflict despite security concerns or continue its military campaign despite security concerns and world condemnation. I don't think they should. You know, we we got to take into consideration what this war is causing. We'll get into the humanitarian aspect of it because that is a very important aspect. But it seems now that they don't really care about that. You know, this is this war is, is about a point and what they believe. And they don't care who gets hurt while they're proving said point. And let's 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 get into the conflicts, the other worldly nations or the other groups that are getting brought in, such as Iran. More recently, Iran. You have Hezbollah. You have the Houthis in Yemen. All of these nations are are, are these groups have something against Israel, and Israel is is continuing to stroke this fire and potentially create a larger conflict in the region. There's there's many fears of war throughout the world. You know, Ukraine and Russia, but it seems Ukraine and Russia is limited to just them. You know, there's nations helping Ukraine, yada yada, but. This one in the Middle East is the most combustible. It has the chance of exploding into something way bigger than anybody's anticipated. Because if Iran decides to invade you, uh, Israel, what does the United States do? They're allied with Israel. Israel is a big, big, important ally in the Middle East. Do they stand for that? Now other nations might choose to gun in, and this might create, like, if you, the United States is focused on a war in, in Israel – would China want to invade Taiwan? It becomes this larger thing you have to think about. The next thing is, let's go right into the humanitarian crisis. We have Israel committing atrocities that even South Africa, South Africa proposed a case of genocide, saying that hey, this is not, you can't do it. And you know, South Africa has its fair share of problems, but even a country such as them realizes what is happening we're talking 42,000 dead we're talking schools being blown up in hospitals being blown up because Hamas is supposedly hiding under there and while it's it was justified like we expected or per me I expected an attack to happen on the Palestine region because of what happened on October 7th like they're not going to just brush over and go okay well it's you know, what's said, what's said and done is done. No, they were going to do something. But to the extent of what they were doing is, is bad. It, the, the opinion of Israel is very, very low for many nations because they're, they're, it feels that they're making an effort to not allow aid into the Palestine region. And letting the people of Palestine suffer for something a group decided to do. That's generally just not okay. It's it's bad. It's disgusting. It's it's just gross. We're we're talking United Nations. Let's go to this this example. United Nations food truck was trying to deliver food, aid, vaccines, all this stuff to Palestine, and it was blown up. And Israel was like, "Oops, my bad." But like, they've they've told you that they were going to be there. Their cars are marked. It's it's just not OK. And one thing, a conversation I've had, one thing somebody mentioned was, how are the children that survive this attack? And after it's all said and done, when will this be? I don't know. I can't predict it. But the children, when this is all said and done, how are they going to perceive Israel? How are they going to perceive this whole events that occurred? I can bet you 99.9 percent of the time it's going to be they're going to be filled with hatred and disgust for many, many reasons. A lot of families have been separated. And we've we've talked about this in, in, in an example. Uh, I cannot remember what lecture it was, but the professor highlighted a chance that if Russia wins the Ukraine war, will the Ukrainian citizens be angry enough to commit their own little Korea attacks? And I could see that, you know, this, this fire will be lit and a ton of the Palestinians to do something about this. If Israel decides to, to completely control the region and 
completely just take over, you know, and are they going to respond? I can predict it. My guess would be yes. It's there's a lot more national security concerns at play for the future. And that's something that has to be put into consideration into for the for the short side of things. Yes, Palestine, there was about 2000 people that were murdered, about less than 2000 people were murdered on the October 7th attacks. Bad, deadly, you know, very sad moment. Coming comp to the 42,000. And we're not even naming the people that are starving, that have been displaced, that are trying to find a way out of this. Those, that is a long-term security concern, and that's something that Israel should consider stopping this. And I don't think Netanyahu has a plan or a want to stop this at any point because he's facing charges of corruption, he's facing war crimes, and he realizes that after this conflict is done, his political career is absolutely over. So maybe there's that personal reason of wanting to stay in this conflict and keep it going so he can stay safe in his position. So to sum this, to sum it all up, Israel defended themselves, but have went way overboard and have started endangering this entire region, the Middle Eastern region by bringing in all of these other nations in the chance of creating war that itself is a reason to, to pull out of this conflict and to back down as you're not only thinking about your people, but you're thinking about the entire region and the entire world. You also have to think about the Palestinian people. And I know that's not a likely thing for the government of Israel because 42,000 people, it's still counting. You know, they don't have any plans to stop, but how will they react for the ones that survive? How will they treat this situation that happened to them, you know, this, this, there will be a vendetta, there will be a fire, and that could lead to something larger. And you've seen it in, in Latin, a professor has mentioned many, many examples of something like this occurring. So it's, it's very possible. Israel has done bad things. They could stop they will face any repercussion that comes their way. You know, it's, there's no way they get out of this completely scot-free. But for them, for security, for the future, it's best if they pull out.